Let's see the new Create an Amazon S3 Bucket step in action. We'll deploy a simple static site to an S3 bucket and expose it using CloudFront. First, let's set our project variables. We'll use an AWS account. By naming our CloudFormation stacks explicitly, we can make it easier to work with the stacks within the project and in runbooks. We'll base the CloudFront stack name on the S3 bucket stack name. We'll create a variable to capture the name of the S3 bucket as we'll let CloudFormation generate a name for us. A variable for the region. And finally, a variable for the name of the stack used to create the S3 bucket. One of my steps leverages an execution container, so I'll include this variable library set, where I manage the names and versions of my container images. Now let's add our Create an Amazon S3 bucket step. We'll skip the bucket name. We'll set a region. The account. And the stack name. Now let's upload our site to the bucket. Because we aren't using deployment targets, we'll set this step to run once. Set the account, region, and the name of our new bucket. I'll select a package to upload. and we're going to extract the package and upload all of its contents. Finally, we'll use my library step template to connect the S3 bucket to a CloudFront distribution. I need to set the execution container as this template needs the AWS CDK. Set the bucket name, and the name for the stack. Done. Let's create the release. My default lifecycle automatically deploys to the staging environment. Let's watch the progress. We're creating the S3 bucket. Uploading our package to the bucket. Configuring the CloudFront distribution. And we're done. Thanks for watching.